During this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit, create, and manage the websites that you have inside of InstaSuite. So here I am logged in right now on my dashboard. Up here at the top right, you can see that my current site is InstaDemo. Well, I'm going to click this drop down, and you can see that we have additional websites that we can switch to. And we also have the ability to edit our current website, create a brand new website, and manage all the websites that we have created. So if you would like to create another one with a new domain, a new set of funnels and things like that, all you would do is click on create a new website and fill out the forms. Manage websites gives you a broad overview of all the websites that you have. But for now, let's go ahead and click on edit website. When I do that, it's going to load up with my site information. So we have our website name, our website URL that we set when we created our website, our site logo that we can change, our fave icon that we can upload. We can also decide what our front page should be for our website. So when you click this drop down menu, you are going to see a list of all the pages that you have created inside of your funnel builder. If you would like to use your own domain name, you can do so by going to the domain mapping section and you can simply use the subdomain provided by InstaSuite. You can map it to your own domain name or you can map it to your own subdomain name. And last but not least, you have the ability to change the status to active or inactive, depending on whether you are ready for your website to be live on the internet, or if you want to keep it inactive and keep making changes and adjustments to your website. Once you have these settings configured, go ahead and click on save site. And if you were creating a brand new website, you can now see it from the drop down menu at the top.